Hi everybody, Dan here and I hope you're doing quite well. Uh, I wanted to make you a little video to show you maybe a couple of things uh, about Terra you may or may not know. Terra is an online game, an MMORPG, coming out May 1st, um, developed by a Korean company called uh, Blue Hole Studios I believe. Uh, pretty good stuff. Anyways, I uh, want to get started here. A couple reasons why you may be interested in Terra. Uh, basically, a good comparison of Terra to something you may already know would be kind of like Monster Hunter Online. Maybe something like that. It's a lot of differences though. A lot of things that set it apart from other MMOs are stuff like the combat for sure. Probably the first thing you'll notice here. Uh, what I like about it a lot is that you actually have to hit enemies and other players to. Oh, that's a little strange. To uh to do damage, right? It's not really like an action bar spam MMO, kind of like World of Warcraft or the Old Republic or Rift, those kind of games. Uh, just some little something there, a little quick information. Uh, comparing it to Monster Hunter, I think it's pretty accurate because, at least for the Lancer here, because, I mean, check out the charge. Look at that animation. Does this not look like the Monster Hunter Lancer animation? can't say no to that come on guys uh, anyways the Lancer here is the tank of the game there's another one called the warrior that's also a tank uh, they play pretty differently uh, which I like a lot played a couple of the classes this is probably my personal favorite uh, let's see I want to kind of start with the graphics here the graphics are probably don't have to tell you this but I think they're pretty nice I mean clearly it's a pretty high polygon count overall the textures are pretty sharp overall, probably like rift quality. Uh, a quick, quick uh, comparison here. Uh, say the Old Republic, if you play that or seen videos of it, I'd say it looks about as good as that, or perhaps even a bit better. The textures definitely look better, I would say, and it runs so much better. Like I've at similar settings, I would say near max, two max, maybe around there. I'd say. Terra runs maybe 50% better than the Old Republic, which is something to look into, especially if you're a PvPer, uh, or really any kind of person who likes video games at high FPS. Uh, yeah, the graphics pretty nice. I mean, we can zoom in on stuff here. I'll show you. It's not incredible fidelity, but it's not too bad either. Actually, I'm not sure if this is actually the high textures yet, uh, because. I mean, I was supposed to download the patch. I'm not sure if it actually downloaded it. Like, I have the highest settings I think available in game at this moment, though that may change in the near future with launch and everything. Generally, the highest settings here. Ah, uh, yeah, if you want to check those out. Anyways, uh, the UI is pretty good overall. It's not revolutionary by any standard, but it's pretty good. The only problem is there is no add-on support that I know of. Maybe it'll come in the future. However, it's a lot less necessary in this game than, say, the Old Republic, which also does not have it, and I'm really disappointed with that. The Old Republic uh, UI, I personally am very disappointed with. Very little customization, and it's really required in that type of MMO. For this one, there is a high level of customization in this UI. I mean, you can pretty much change, move everything you want. I like I have a specific style I like. You can really change anything you want. You can unlock this if you want. Uh, actually, I can move it right now, but I don't want to move it. Uh, you can move this if you want. I do. Actually, that's a better way to put it. I like that better. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. You can move pretty much anything you want, as I said, I've said several times now. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's also several UI options here. You can resize it. You can add new uh, bars and whatnot. Can change a lot of features. Oops, don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. You can lock, unlock, shows percentages, lots of good stuff. The usual you uh, MMO stuff. You can set uh, uh, keybinds and everything here. Keybind setting is a little mediocre, I would say. Not quite as good as as some add-ons in WoW. But what can you do? Video settings and audio settings, game settings. Yep good stuff. Uh, let's see, on to the, 
see what else is interesting here. Character here. Something pretty interesting here that I think is the... My bags are completely full, but out. As far as, say, gemming and enchanting and stuff, you can take gems, gems called crystals in this game, right out of your armor at any time whatsoever. I uh, yeah, believe even in combat, but I but the, don't quote me on that. You can take them out whenever you want. It costs you nothing at all, and you can put it back into new armor, so you can keep gems for quite a long time. I like that a lot. Uh, some of you may not like that, who knows. Let's see. Uh, other interesting stuff here. Well, the most interesting thing I would say is probably the combat here. Let me show you. Like, what I like about it is that you actually have to hit enemies to do damage, right? I mean, if I attack over here, it's not going to hit them, right? Oh, and you got to dodge attacks, right? If you don't dodge attacks, you're going to die. It's, uh, it's pretty good. I do really enjoy it. It doesn't actually get tedious, and what I like about it as well is that the leveling system is not overly long, at least to this point, and I'm level 21 right now, as you can see right there. Uh, at least to this point, it is, it's taken me maybe, I would say, about 30 minutes uh, per level, on average, I would say. It's not too bad at all, and uh, I've heard it doesn't get too, too much harder. The enemies get a bit tougher, uh, the mid-20s supposedly, I wouldn't know. Oh, there's a PvP here. But, uh, he's getting chased down by a raccoon. Interesting. Interesting. What was I saying? Yes. Uh, leveling is pretty streamlined. I do like it a lot. There's plenty of quests, lots of repeatable quests if you want to do them. If you just like to kill stuff, it's kind of like a grinding system. Like There's a repeatable quest that you don't have to pick up. You can just keep killing things over and over and over again if that's your thing. Um, and it's pretty quick pretty quick overall. I tried it for a little while, not really my thing. Uh, let's see, one thing, one feature that I really really like about this, the UI at least, is this um, map here. The movable map here, you can change it, whoops, my dog barking here, sorry about that. Uh, the movable map here, you can zoom in on it I believe, you can change a lot of things here. It's kind of like the Diablo 2 minimap, if you guys ever played that, really similar. It's really, really useful. It's hard to explain just how useful it is. I mean, instead of having to open up the map and not see anything, I just like this a lot more. It shows quest NPCs, uh, locations, and everything. Ah, uh, good stuff. Important locations and everything, yeah. You can even link your location in chat here. Like, uh, lo slash location here. And people see your location in chat. Ooh, hope the uh, player killer doesn't come kill me here. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see, what else is cool here? Uh, the PvP. The PvP, it is really hit and miss, I would say. I personally like it because there's a system called the Outlaw System. Uh, you get a skill at level 11, I think. It's called Outlaw Declaration here. Basically, you turn that on and you can kill anyone at all. Anyone at all you see in the wild. Anyone outside of towns, basically, and there's not that many towns, so you can kill pretty much anyone, anywhere, at any time. Or be killed by them, right? It's not a, a two-sided sword. Yeah. Uh, I personally like it a lot. I've been, been, I've been ganked a few times. Ganked, sorry. Ganked a few times, which means you get killed by other players over and over again. It can be a little annoying, but what can you do? This is a PvP server. I don't know how it works on PvE server. Maybe it's a little different. Uh, there's not too much of a penalty for player killing, but uh, that just keeps it fun, right? Uh, it starts some good world PvP. There's only one faction, so you can really kill anyone at all, and I really like it. Plus, it's pretty good to troll, because you can talk to people you gank in area chat here, and um, they rage, and you feel good, bro. It's good stuff. Uh, let's see. Good trolling, right? Uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot to talk about, I think. The whole game is pretty interesting. There's a talent system of sorts. It's called the glyph system. You can glyph your skills here. And yeah, glyphs here. I have a couple of glyphs. You can kind of change how a skill works, but it's not actually a talent. You don't change like percentage wise. You don't. It's not really like a wow talent system. There's no talent trees. You just kind of change the abilities, improve them. Sometimes there's trade offs. 
Uh, overall, I would say it's a good game, a really good game. I enjoy the questing, I enjoy leveling, uh, PvP. There's a few minor bugs and stuff, but it's still beta. Hopefully it'll be better. I'll post a link if you guys want to sign up for beta. You might get in, you might not. If you pre-order the game, you're guaranteed to get into beta. It's good stuff. Anyways, I think that's it. I believe that is it. Ah, uh, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Hope it interests you in some way. It is pretty different MMO, right? Nothing completely revolutionary, but it's good stuff. Maybe something to check out. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you next time.